again from when we first see Kiefer. It's freeze. What do you see? A light-colored hybrid. Just like the one Alexis drives. Okay, can, can you back it up? Is it possible to... All right, go ahead and back it up. Can we zoom in to the driver's side window, right? That's Alexis. What does the time counter say? Uh, Kiefer Bauer walked that same stretch of road not two minutes before. Kiefer Bauer. So he was halfway between the lake house and General Hospital, and that road is the fastest way from point A to point B, and Alexis was driving Christina to the hospital at that time. And it all adds up. Alexis could be the hit-and-run driver that killed Kiefer. I'm sorry if I seem a little distracted. What's so important they have to tell Christina? I'm afraid it's going to upset you. You know what? I really don't want to hear about it. I can't take any more bad news, so if it's not really, really important, can we just wait until we get home? I was just going to say that uh, you can't go home tonight. Mom? No, they, they just want to keep you here for some observation. No. That's ridiculous. I'm perfectly fine to go home. I have to go home. I... I can't stay here. Uh, last night, I s stared at the ceiling all night thinking about how Kiefer died right downstairs in the ER where I was just hey, a few hours hey, before, hey, maybe even be in the okay. same cubicle. Mom, you have to talk to someone. I can't stay here another night uh, with nothing to do but think about all the things that I could have done differently. You didn't so do Kiefer anything could still be alive. wrong. There's nothing you could have done. No, it's I did. I threw myself at Ethan, a guy who didn't even want hey, me in the first place. You need to calm no down. No wonder Kiefer got so mad. For God's Stop. sake, Christina. Stop blaming yourself for everything. <sighs> Might as well have been driving the car that ran Kiefer over. You listen to me. This is not your fault. You can grieve for Kiefer, and you have the right to feel embarrassed that you misread Ethan's intentions. You can even be angry at the person who ran Kiefer down and left him there to die. You have a right to all of those things. Feel everything you want, but please... Christina, do not feel guilt, please. I don't know how to stop. Everything just keeps getting worse and worse. This nightmare is just never going to end. <laughs> we can speculate about what happened, but the truth is we have no proof. We have no footage of the actual impact. Yeah, but we have Kiefer walking down the road, and we have Alexis driving through two minutes later, right? In, in which time he could have been struck by someone else. I mean, in, in, in her... In her intensity, she may not have seen him lying on the side of the road, and Christina was in the car. Would she not have felt or even seen the impact? I don't know. Alexis said that Christina was unconscious, so Christina probably didn't even remember the ride in. I must say, my heart breaks from the reluctant mob princess. I mean, she's going through a precarious patch in her young life. I know she is, poor thing. I mean, she's, she's on overload. Can you imagine if she finds out that Alexis was the one who killed Kiefer, she would snap. But I think that's what happened, right? I agree. In all likelihood, it was Alexis who snuffed out her daughter's abuser. But Ethan Lovett has already been arrested for the crime, and he's already had to suffer the indignity of being accused of assaulting Christina. So isn't it our obligation to come forward with what we know? Are you okay? I, I, I can't do that. I, I, I can't breathe. Okay, but I, I really could have used your help. Oh, I can't help you. It's not going to want to talk to me anymore anyway. What are you talking about? It was me. I did it. I did it, Sam. I hit him with the car. I, I just, I need to tell someone. I need to tell someone. Okay, fine. Tell me. Tell me everything. I was, I was coming home, and Kiefer was running out of the house, and I walked in, and your sister was on the floor, and she was <sighs> bruised and... and and bleeding in. Why, why didn't you call 911? I don't know. I don't know. I got her into the car because I needed to, to keep her awake. I didn't want her to go to sleep, all right? And so I, I kept... What? What happened? I keep her and I keep thinking about Ethan and, and that he didn't do it and I just, I, I freaked. I freaked out. What do you mean you freaked out? I hit him. 
I hit him. I saw him, I hit him, and I kept going. Sam, I need to tell somebody. You know, you need to think about this first. You haven't even thought through the consequences yet. Mom, this is, this is your second offense. They would surely give you prison time. Christina can't handle that right now. She's hanging on by her fingernails. Hearing this would definitely send her over the end. I, I, gotta, I gotta talk to Jason and Spinelli. They will definitely be able to find a way to not implicate you in this. They're gonna figure it out, I promise. They're gonna figure it out. Lucky. He's not here right now. Anything I can do? You underhanded bastard. I want my son, and I mean now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what son are we Don't act about? like you don't know. Well, I don't know. What the hell is going I on? I got a call from Morgan's principal. A cop and a social worker showed up and took him out of school. Gee, I wonder who would do that. Well, it wasn't me. Okay, but I probably know who it was and why they did it. We had a bad connection. I'll say it again. An order went out to take Morgan Corinthos, a minor, out of Queen of Angels school. A judge and an officer put that plan into motion. I want to know who they were and where they took the boy. Why the hell are they doing this? Because Morgan knows a lot. No one knows he does. I know that could work in our favor. Claire, Claire Walsh left the show, but this could be for effect or she could be trying to get Sunny to go off again. And he will. This is a potential disaster. And Morgan is such a trusting little boy. If he's asked questions in a certain manipulative way, who knows what he'll tell them, Jason? Well, hopefully Morgan knows what not to say. Calling on behalf of the mother. That's exactly why Jack said Claire Walsh brought him to this case. She'll do anything to win, even take advantage of Kit. I'm not a fan of Jack, but I'm sure he never knew Claire would use Morgan. Don't defend him. I'm not. He didn't know what she would do, but he didn't care. I want to know where my kid is now. Well, that's the boy's mother. Well, what do you think? She's on the warpath. Well, you want me to send her your way? Actually, better yet, why don't we file kidnapping charges and I'll get a lawyer to sort it out? Oh, well, thank you very much. Courthouse, witness room. Car Carly, wait a second. No, no, no. no. I, you cannot I, go in there. I, yes, you can. You can't. He Listen will tell. Me. He will tell. He won't mean to, but he will tell. If you go in that courtroom, making a big scene, you're going to kill your credibility as a witness. You were the last hope. Okay, your testimony is Sonny and Michael's last chance. 